Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. Three explosions pierced the morning calm in Egypt's capital on Friday. One of them, a massive car bomb near Cairo's police headquarters, killed several people and left at least 40 others wounded. Michaela Cabrela has the details. An explosion in Cairo killed four people on Friday and wounded dozens. A group of supporters of General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi gathered at the blast site. This man said he heard the blast and ran to the scene. Whoever did this must be hanged, I swear. The government's leniency won't do any good in this situation. Three of the casualties were policemen. The wounded were rushed to hospital for treatment. The assault on the Cairo Security Directorate raises concerns that an Islamist insurgency is gathering steam. Well, the attacks in Cairo come just one day before Egyptians mark the third anniversary of the revolution that toppled former President Host Mubarak, ending decades of a repressive regime. Mubarak's ouster was heralded, heralded by many as the beginning of a transition to democracy. Viewers Elizabeth Arrot has more from Cairo. Three years after millions of Egyptians rose up and overthrew a general turned president, millions of Egyptians seem set to back another general as his successor. Which leaves many asking on this third anniversary of the uprising in Cairo's Tahrir Square, how much, if anything, has changed? For one, there is more violence, including blasts in the capital one day before the anniversary which makes General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi all the more popular for many Egyptians who long for stability after all the turmoil. Supporters like taxi driver Saeed Ali Yassin feel the general brings a new perspective on moving the country forward. It's very different. Sisi have a different, different mind. He's still younger. Adopting the revolutionary mantle appears key. Sisi and the military-backed interim government are among many forces laying claim to the legacy of Tahrir. Officials argue that the ouster of President Mohamed Morsi and the crackdown on his Muslim Brotherhood stemmed in part because they deviated from the revolutionary path. But then so too, authorities say, have some of the original revolutionaries. Dozens of activists and liberal figures have faced arrest in recent weeks, writes advocate Gamal Eid. El -Shabab. The young revolutionaries have demands, which were not met, and are being attacked. Even an Academy Award-nominated documentary on Tahrir and the more recent upheavals raises the government's concerns. We did all of this in order just to remove him and put someone exactly like him in his place. Egypt's censorship board is holding up its release. But Tahrir was not just about politics. It was a cry against poverty and stagnation under the old regime. Scholar and lawyer Ahmed Kamal Abu Al Magd warns basic needs must be addressed. If they feel that their grievances are not met seriously and uh, very, let, very little improvement is taking place, God knows how they are going to rebel. But they are going to rebel. But with the hope of the Arab Spring long since faded, some, like Ali Yassin, put Egypt's situation in a broader context. Look in the whole world in Arabic area, see what's wrong with him now. Libya, nothing. Iraq, nothing. You start with Yemen. And then now with Syria. So he is optimistic, even if he has set the bar rather low. Everybody. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo. Everybody.